uh, the gaps in the reports, let me know. This is this is about all of us working together for this right here, Liberty. I've got it, got the symbol of Liberty on our desk here. If you're if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, now uh, moving on. Yeah, there it is. Nice, nice, nice uh, little statuette there. Uh, <laughs> I tried to find one made in America, and uh, that was a challenge. So I'm looking for an American-made statuette that I can put on this desk and bring it with me. So if anybody has got one, I'd be happy to buy it from you. Please, I'd like an American artist to have a statuette here of the American eagle and the flags and the freedom and everything. That's what I'm really looking for. I'm willing to pay for it, willing to buy it. So let me know. Uh, you can send that to showtips at infowars.com. Now, we're moving on to our next guest, Dr. Len Saputo, and his website is drsaputo.com, and he joins us to talk about the solutions for what happens if the Fukushima radiation is unleashed in the ways that we talked about during our interview with Arnie Gunderson. North America, in fact, the entire Northern Hemisphere could be just drastically affected in a hugely negative way. Dr. Saputo, thank you for joining me today with some solutions. It's great to have you on. Thank you, Mike. It's always a pleasure to be on your show. I really enjoyed listening to Arnie Gunderson talk about the magnitude of the problem. Yeah, he really laid it out for us, didn't he? This is not a small deal. This is a, a globally impacting event. We are on the edge of a cliff uh, as a race, as human civilization, so hanging on by our fingernails, as I said. This thing could go terribly wrong. If that happens, we're going to see a massive amount of radiation released, much of it falling onto North America. That's going to put people in a situation where they need protection from radiation. Many people don't realize there are lots of things they can do. What would you like to start with, Dr. Saputo? Well, first of all, talk about how little radiation it takes to cause problems. I mean, we're, we're looking at a massive amount of radiation. We don't know the amount that's going to come across this country. But there are a lot of things we can do to prepare uh, that are really safe and easy to do. I mean, there are things like diet and supplements, uh, exercise. We forget about the uh, value of lifestyle measures. You're trying to really fight here against the effects of the ionizing radiation which cause a lot of free radical damage, which is what destroys our tissue and what causes the problem from radiation. Now, we can combat that by building up our own antioxidant levels. And we can do that endogenously, meaning inside of our body with our own defenses by doing a lot of exercise. And that's not a small thing. Uh, if we do hard exercise, we build a lot of free radicals uh, in our body and our body adapts to it beautifully. That's the, what happens when we get into shape. But there are also a lot of foods we can use and a lot of supplements that I think are outstanding. So that can, can, do can you name, name some of the best foods and some of the best supplements so that, that yeah, you know of? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got foods that are rich in sulfur, like garlic and onions, uh, ginger, the brassica vegetables are out there. Eggs are very good. And these all make glutathione, which is the most important intracellular oxidant, antioxidant we have in our body. And then there are foods that are rich in, in ECGC, you know, the green and white teas. If you juice, that's probably the best way to get the most nutrient-dense food that's on the planet. And that'll do a lot to build up your antioxidants, particularly if you add berries to that. And then we look at things like the fermented foods that are rich in probiotics, you know, those friendly bacteria. It's an interesting study on this done, Mike, that shows that if you have the right probiotics, uh, right microflora in the intestinal tract, that it actually protects against radiation damage. That was a shock to me when I saw that, but indeed it's published in the mainstream medicine. Yeah, well, so, you're absolutely right. I want to comment on that. You know, radiation damages you by when the, the ionizing... Uh, radiation strikes your DNA, it causes it, it can knock out uh, a piece uh, of the code, of the DNA code, that then causes your cells to replicate in a cancerous type of way. But there are nutritional and biological mechanisms that the human body has built in in its blueprint to repair DNA, right? Exactly, exactly. And then there are a whole bunch of supplements, you know, that are wonderful that, that in concert can do a lot. It's always better to do the things that you can to build up your own defenses. But when you're looking at massive amounts of radiation, I mean, if it's enough, you can forget it because there's not going to be much of anything you can do. Yeah, that's but you can add some things that will make a difference. Things like vitamin A, maybe 5,000 IUs a day and a little beta carotene of 25,000 IUs a day. And vitamin E and vitamin D, another one that is, is really important, maybe up to 10,000 units a day. Oh, yeah. 
they've done some studies on, on rats where they poisoned them with radiation poisoning, enough to kill them. And when they gave them just a couple of grams of vitamin C, only about half of the rats died. So if we took ourselves to what's called bowel tolerance with vitamin C, that would be a tremendously potent way to protect against the, uh, the effects of radiation. And that might be something like 10,000 milligrams a day. I mean, a big, large dose of vitamin C, which is perfectly safe. It's a water-soluble vitamin. Right. All it's going to do is perhaps give you a little bit of loose stools if you overdo it, but there's no yeah. real harm from, from megadosing. No, there's a whole protocol on my website that takes you to what's called bowel tolerance. And some people can take as much as 40 or 50,000 units a day. And if you're going to be exposed to radiation and you were exposed to it, then your ability to tolerate the vitamin C would even go up. It's called tolerance to vitamin C. So hmm. taking it to bowel tolerance is really an important thing to do. And it's, a, it's an amazingly potent anti-radiation uh, protective mechanism. All right. Now, I think it's important what you just said. And I want to encourage people to visit your website, drsaputo.com, just like it sounds, S-A-P-U-T-O.com, drsaputo.com. You've got some protocols described there. You said that essentially something very important, you can't just take some vitamins, chug some juice, and then go walk through Chernobyl and expect to survive. It's not, this is not a bulletproof nutritional suit. You've got That's, to build up this nutrition over time, right? Exactly. That's why lifestyle is so important and why fitness is so important and what you eat is so important. Getting enough sleep is important. All the things that are in our usual lifestyle uh, are, are important to do the right way. I mean, if we did that, it wouldn't just be protection against radiation. It'd be protection against almost every chronic disease there is. That's right. Heart disease, cancer, diabetes. Every yeah. yeah. We also have some other uh, direct firsthand observations on nutrition versus radiation because I, I know lots of people who have family members or friends who have gone into radiotherapy for cancer, you know, radiation treatments for cancer. And if you look at what kinds of nutritional protocols they follow before they go into that, you've got two groups. You've got the junk food group that normally do terribly and they suffer all kinds of terrible side effects from the radiation. And then you've got the holistic nutrition group that normally recovers and goes on to live a, a long life. They do a lot better, particularly if you're on an alkaline diet and you're adding some of the supplements we're talking about. And we didn't actually, there's some others that I want to mention that I think are really powerful. Things like uh, resveratrol. I mean, that's actually been tested in mice who've been poisoned with radiation. And the ones that are on about 500 milligrams, equivalent dose that we would take of about 500 milligrams a day do really well. And things like L-glutamine, another really important uh, nutrient to take because, see, the damage from acute radiation poisoning comes from two sources. And, and these are all cells that turn over fast, rapidly. And those are in the gut, and, and that's what really kills most people. And that's if it's acute enough, it just wipes out the cells because they only have a three-day turnover there. Yeah. So when you're getting poisoned by radiation, if you throw in some L-glutamine, which is a major metabolic fuel of the gut, and a few other nutrients that the gut likes, it's got a much better chance of surviving. Uh, same thing with probiotics, like I was mentioning before. So all these things, when they're taken together in concert, maybe throw a little quercetin in there as well, a great anti-inflammatory uh, bioflavonoid that protects against inflammation. You could do a lot to protect yourself. Yeah, so I if want you to, have some, go ahead. I want to mention a couple. Of, I went back to the Infowars store, actually, before the show here to grab uh, a couple of supplements that I'm personally familiar with that are also well known to help protect against radiation. I just want to mention those. Uh, the first is called Thyrosafe. This is just your standard potassium iodide tablets. Indeed. Uh, KI, that's, you know, protect your thyroid. That's well known. Right. But the right. other one that's not so well known that I've actually covered, I, I actually interviewed the founder of this company in 2008, and the company, or the product is, is called Modifelin. Modifelin, it is a brown seaweed extract. Uh -huh. This is an extraordinary nutritional product. It has been used in other, uh, not necessarily in this brand name, but this the, the actual seaweed itself, the brown seaweed, was used following the nuclear attacks, uh, the, the atomic bomb attacks of World War II. It was used following Chernobyl. And I don't have any financial ties to this company, by the way. I just know this to be very, very useful for uh, protecting against radiation, and that is available at the InfoWars store, by the way. And in fact, you can read my interview with the founder of that company. Just go to naturalnews.com and search for Madi Filan, M-O-D-I-F-I-L-A-N, or search for brown seaweed extract. You can read that interview. Uh, so I just want to add that in, Dr. Saputo, because there's so many great supplements available for protecting yourself. You're not totally helpless. 
Right. You know, and all this can be kind of overwhelming because we're really giving out a ton of information here. I've got it all outlined on my site. If you go to drsabuto.com on the home page, you have a section there where it talks about all the things we've talked about on the show and all the supplements and foods that we've reviewed. Yeah, thank you. That's very useful information. We're going to talk about more solutions as we continue here on The Alex Jones Show. So stay with us. We'll be right back in just a couple of minutes with more solutions for radiation protection all across the world. Stay with us. I got my InfoWars t-shirt on today. May the truth be with you in this ongoing battle for saving humanity from all the various forces of darkness and evil and destruction and death that are trying to destroy us all. Oh, there's so many. It's 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 almost hard to know where to, you know, where to begin some days. But we were just talking about supplements. We've got Dr. Len Saputo on the line with us with some solutions of what can we do if the Fukushima reactor goes into another burnout situation that was just described to us by Arnie Gunderson, where uh, it actually bursts into flames. The 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 spent fuel rods or partially spent fuel rods burst into flames. And release masses of radiation, and even he said, you know, this is way, way worse than Chernobyl in terms of the amount of radiation that would be released in the cesium-137 and 134 isotopes, both that would head into North America. And then I, I, I was just thinking during the break that if that happened, we would have maybe a ten-day window between the the uh, the actual fire event in Fukushima and the arrival. Of the cesium on the land on on the on North America, so in that ten day window, you know what's going to happen? Everybody and their brother is going to rush out and buy health foods, and everybody's going to buy this stuff: thyrosafe, potassium iodide. You remember, you couldn't get, you could not get this last year during the actual following the Fukushima uh, uh, meltdown situation. You could not get this. This box, I don't know what this costs. It's probably a few bucks. Some people were selling this on eBay for $600 a box. So if you don't have KI or potassium iodide in your emergency medical kit right now, this is the time to get it because you can get it because nobody's paying attention. It's the only time to get it because once once it goes up with Fukushima, this is gone. This will sell out. Believe me, here on InfoWars, this will be gone in 24 hours. Absolutely gone. And Alex would be on the show telling you it's gone. Sorry, you should have got it six months ago when you could, when it was cheap. And um, we had the same situation over at Natural News. We couldn't get any more. It was sold out. But getting back to Dr. Len Saputo, thank you again for joining me, Dr. Saputo. Always great to have you on. Uh, what other, let, let's talk about the junk food diet of the typical American consumer. Isn't that diet then making them more susceptible to radiation damage. And we talked about the nutrition side. What about the anti-nutrition side? Well, there's no question. When you, when you look at your cells as a microscopic industrial plant, and their job is to make product, okay? All the things that we need to make our cells function to keep us healthy. And if all of our cells are healthy, you can't be sick. But if you don't put the raw materials into that microscopic industrial plant, it can't make products out of thin air. So if you're taking junk food in that has empty calories or has things that are harmful to your health, then the, the bottom line is going to be that you're not going to be able to respond when there's any kind of uh, need for the products that your cells are supposed to make to keep you healthy. So it's pretty straightforward. I think one of the things we forget about is that we, we need to be, 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 be prepared now for what would be happening in the future. So your point is well taken there. Uh, we need to be doing the things like buying the thyroid or the, that thyro, thyroid uh, SSKI uh, substance today. We need to be living a healthy lifestyle today. You need to build up your antioxidant levels. You need to do all the things that you can do to make your body stronger so that you can fight against the radiation when it comes across. That's absolutely right, Dr. Saputo. I'll show this on camera once again. This is my famous jar of superfood. I always have one here at the studio. This has got this is absolutely loaded with nutrition. And uh, you can't you can't just take this thyrosafe potassium iodide. You can't just eat, eat a junk food diet and take this and think now you're safe. It's not enough. You got to have a healthy nutritional diet. You got to follow what Aaron Dykes is doing and what Alex is doing with the nutrition, with the mineralization. If you want to be safe from radiation, and that's got to start right now. Dr. Saputo, sorry to be interrupting you so much, but uh, stay with us. We'll continue with you on the other side. I just I, I get passionate about this stuff. We'll be right back. More here on The Alex Jones Show. Stay with us. A lot more straight ahead. Welcome 